The Supreme Court heard a case on Monday involving the family behind the company that makes OxyContin. They would pay $6 billion in an agreement to help fight the opioid epidemic, but in return, they would be shielded from personal lawsuits. Purdue Pharma, the company behind the drug OxyContin, filed for bankruptcy in 2019. The Sacklers, who used to run Purdue Pharma, agreed to pay $6 billion to fight addiction and reorganize the company to also make addiction treatment and opioid reversal medications. But in exchange, the Sacklers want a third-party release, which would protect them from future civil lawsuits. On Monday, the Supreme Court justices weighed whether bankruptcy protection could release the Sacklers from liability, considering they didn't personally declare bankruptcy, their company did. In some ways, they're getting a, a better deal than the usual bankruptcy discharge because, as Justice Gorsuch uh, indicated, they're being protected from claims of fraud and claims of willful misconduct. The Supreme Court put the settlement on hold over the summer after the Biden administration argued families need to be able to hold the Sacklers and their associates accountable. But lawyers for more than 60,000 victims of opioid abuse want the deal to go through, saying many victims are on the edge of poverty as they wait for much needed payments. The court's ruling is expected by early summer, and the justices will determine how quickly and potentially how much money the victims of the opioid epidemic are able to get. Avajoy Burnett, Scripps News, Washington.